All right, Aquarius, take two. Let's try it again. How much time I got? All right, let me make sure my time all right. So we're gonna be doing this reading for January through December of 2018 for my Aquariuses. I will drop down one card for each month with one clarification and tell you what energies you will have for the new year coming in. For those of you that are interested, my son is fine. We are, um, he's recovering, put it like that. He's recovering, we're, we're doing all right. So let's go ahead and get this reading. For those of you that would like to book a reading with me, I am now reading. Hit me up on my email, intimatewithsintero at gmail.com. Score Aquarius. January to December 2018. Aquarius. January to December 2018. That's my mom, my brother. Walking behind me at my mom's house. Let's get started. Underline energy for the year justice card. This represents wearing your options. This is my second reading, so I already kind of knew that you guys were having to make a lot of decisions this year. Um, and the cards are pretty much the same theme of, of what was going on in the first read. So this is about um, fair and just decisions, doing what you know is right, standing up for your beliefs, um, wearing your options. For those of you that are in a situation, um, this could be a Libra if you're looking at zodiac signs. So let's go ahead and pull some clarification. A clarification for Aquarius. January to December The theme, mm, the underlying energy is the Ace of Pentacles. This represents new starts, guys, new foundations starting. This could be some of you guys moving into a new home, starting a new job. It's just an abundance of things coming in. We got the Ace of Pentacles. That's the underlying energy. All right, so for your theme for the year, we're talking about a. Uh, We're talking about the Ten of Cups. So this represents all your emotional and material needs being met, tr having trustworthy relationships, um, even having a content and rewarded family life. So this represents the ultimate like happiness when it comes in regards to family and stuff. So that's my brother, y'all. So we got the Alchemist as well. This represents manifesting your dreams. This represents you being a very... Um, influential part in your own happiness and i think this is what it means this means that you have created the happiness that you desire but that does mean that you're going to have to make some choices leave some things behind start some new things and kind of you know mold your own path this year aquarius the alchemist also like i said represents manifesting so some of you guys are definitely needing to understand that this is a year of manifestation for you which means whatever you want there's a way for you to get it you just have to know how this this could be writing your affirmations um this could be, you know, my, my how I manifest things in my life. I write them down. I put them on paper, and then I take them step by step. Because in order to manifest, you have to push toward that goal. You have to put all your focus toward the goal. So this could be a year of you focusing all your goals toward creating this life that you desire. In January, we got the Seven of Cups. So this, and we pulled this in the last read, too. So this represents... Um, this represents making a decision, making a complex decision. This represents understanding that you have options. Um, stop procrastinating. I pulled the Knight of Pentacles in your last read. So this talks about buckling down, honoring your commitments, getting, um, you know, handling your responsibilities. And with this Two of Cups, this could be you having options in regards to love, in regards to union. I also put the Lovers card in the last read. So for those of you that are single, this could be you having options in regards to love. Um, this could be dealing with your health as well. For some of you guys having to make a decision in regards to your health, um, stop procrastinating. Maybe it's time for some of you guys to actually like 
you know, focus on your well-being. So some of you guys are having to focus on your well-being and this is like stop procrastinating, get it done. Um, some of you guys are making New Year's resolutions, so this could be one to, you know, either gain or lose weight. Um, also, this represents, like I said, daydreaming about love. Some of you guys are really wanting to manifest love in your life this year. And I think, I think it's starting now. I think now, like today, is where this is starting. This, want, this uh, kind of wanting to be joined in with someone else on a romance club okay january i mean blah, blah, blah. february we got the nine of wands so this represents um protecting your protecting that which you have created having courage believing in yourself this also represents not giving up and focusing with this king of swords this represents being very diplomatic um speaking with confidence so maybe february we're focusing on confidence speaking our mind speaking how we truly feel um being very diplomatic, very professional. Maybe some of us all. Uh, Batman, come here. Y'all, my baby. It's, he's good. Come here, Fat Daddy. He just walked by. Say. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Go watch TV, okay? Mama oh, yeah, I love beef noodles. Okay, you're not going to eat tonight. Go. We got a whole ham in the oven. He's talking about being moles. All right, so, oh, Merry Christmas, guys. It is Christmas Eve while I'm doing this. All right, so we got the nine of wands here. So this represents don't give up. Protect that which you have created, like I said, with the King of Swords. This represents being very um, diplomatic, speaking with confidence, making your, doing all your movements, all your moving with confidence is what I'm trying to say, moving with confidence. All right, so in March, we got the eight of wands. This represents... Events happening at a great speed. Um, delays being over, many things happening at once. For some of you guys, this could be an unexpected pregnancy because I pulled the Empress on top of this Eight of Wands. For other of you, this could be you wanting to start something new in your life. This could also be an engagement. Um, this could be a relationship starting. This could be some, the foundation of something beginning. So this, for some of you guys, this is a pregnancy. Um, for some of you guys, this is starting a, a new relationship, um, <laughs> starting a new job, um, starting a new career, doing something that is a beginning because this this week's about something happening in a hurry Ooh. so for some of you guys in March like I said you might be having some you know getting pregnant having some babies <laughs> starting a new job starting a new goal a new career self-employment for some of you guys some of you guys are trying to build a groundwork for you to begin something so and I do see this happening quickly for you guys. So this could be all in works with you guys creating this life that you desire, which I think is awesome. Okay, so April, we're looking at the will. This is the will of fortune. And we also got the six of cups. So this could represent a karmic situation. This could represent um, soulmate unions, soul familiar unions. This could represent um, things changing in regards to a past love or a love in your life. Um, this could be things changing in regards to your family life, your children. The six of cups talks about memories from your childhood, romance, romanticizing about the past, um, thinking about the past. This could also represent soulmate unions. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I kind of think this may be a karmic situation or a karmic union um, where you're coming together with someone. It doesn't have to be a love union. It could be a friendship. It could be um, a job. It could be some type of karmic situation where there's a lesson you have to learn um, in regards to a past life situation. Hopefully it's a good thing, you know, karmic situations are going to be really, really good or really, really bad. And, you know, hopefully it's a good one. Okay. So May, we're looking at the three of wands. This represents waiting for something to happen, waiting for things to come in. Things looking very good, um, having abundance, but having to wait for things to come into fruition. We also got the, pick, the Prince of Pentacles. So this represents, um, but. The same thing, this is the second, this came into the other read as well, but it came into an, as an actual um, focal point and not a clarification card. But this talks about buckling down under your commitments. It's the exact same thing in January. Buckling down under your commitments. Don't get lazy on me, guys. If there's something that you need to be doing, focus on it. Do it. Make your year what you desire in your life, okay? Change things for you because I do see this is a very, you got the Wheel of Fortune twice in this read, so this is a very powerful read from our Aquarius. And I need you guys to focus, focus, okay? All right, so like I said, this represents honor your commitments, buckling down, getting things done. You may be waiting for something to happen, but while you're waiting, focus on the goals that you have in front of you, okay? June, 
we got the page of wands so this represents news of an exciting new adventure you using your originality your ingenuity being outgoing being creative having confidence we got this third source here so maybe there's some type of blockage here there's some type of healing or some type of sorrow that you must go through in order to get to this um new rejuvenation rejuvenation of self okay so for some of you guys like i said this is you needed to kind of go through some type of heartache in order to get to this clarity in your life um this could be this karmic situation that we were talking about maybe it didn't go so good so you know it may be it, it's painful karmic situations can be very painful but the three of swords now it does talk about sorrow and i kind of think there will be some sorrow um there could be some sorrow there could be some heartbreak this, this year um I don't see actual death, so that's good. But I do see some type of heartache or some type of sorrow in regards to um, either an air, a fire sign that you're dealing with. Could be a child, could be a fire sign. Um, because I'm looking in past this month, next month there's some sorrow as well. Um, but I kind of think this could be either a breakup, and this could be a breakup dealing with this uh, fire sign. Yeah, I think this is a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or what else is my fire sign? Leo. So this could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo that you're um, having this situation with. But there's some sorrow, so there's a need for you to heal. This is a blockage right here because the next month I do see you in your head a lot about the situation. Um, and this is for July. I do see you stressing out about the situation, expecting words, having these sleepless nights. So I don't know if you did something or the other person did something, but it's caused a lot of sorrow and a lot of stress and mental strain in your life. And this is causing you to kind of have some health related, some stress related health issues. Um, with the Ten of Wands, this represents you having to carry a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your back. So maybe there's some guilt associated with whatever's going on. Maybe there's something you did. Um, and it could be dealing with this, I think it's with the Taurus, I mean a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It's a kind of see some of that going on in here so i don't know if this is a third party situation you're sleeping with two different people and you kind of get caught up hopefully not but you know it is what it is things happen but i do see some sorrow and i do see some guilt and um just a lot on your shoulders and literally when i look at this card so like there was a weight on my shoulders so maybe you guys are going to be carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders toward the summer months of 2018 all right so we got August, we got the King of Pentacles. This represents um, a successful time, you moving with confidence, accepting the opportunities that you're offered. Um, and this is pretty much having a modest touch. And with this Queen of Cups, this could be you focusing on yourself, focusing on whatever it is that you need to handle for, your, for you. This also represents nurturing. This could represent um, a mothering figure, someone, um, someone that has to take care of, of not only themselves, but other people like, you know, Y'all, my lashes got my eyes looking heavy, but they pretty, though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this represents someone that has to handle a lot of responsibilities. This represents, like, a mother figure. So this could be um, dealing with a mother. This could be dealing with someone um, around you that could be either pregnant or having to do, you know, mommy duties, stuff like that. Oh, burn myself and I just scratched it. It hurt. But this also talks about having confidence. So maybe this is you needing to actually nurture that confidence in yourself and kind of move with move with some type of practicality in regards to doing something. Not Make sure you're putting your heart into it, but make sure you're putting your head into it as well. Because I think for some of you guys, this is dealing with some type of self-employment. You may have had some negative thoughts, but this is you kind of rebuilding yourself and understanding that with this comes failure. So you must actually move forward past the failure in order to achieve the goal that you set for yourself. September, y'all have to count my months because, you know. All right, so in September, we got ego. So this represents like feeling trapped in a situation with this prince of, princess of swords. This represents delays, challenges. So even though the month before you're feeling very confident, you had a very successful month, there may be, like I said earlier, there may be some type of blockage here that's causing you to second guess yourself. And you second guessing yourself is making you kind of doubt your, um, you're kind of doubting your own, 
your own talent, your own, you know, you're doubting yourself. And this is what I'm getting from this. I'm not getting that there's an actual delay, but you may be causing delay because you're doubting your own gifts. You're doubting your own path. The path that you set, you feel like you can't uh, accomplish it, but you can. You, you can because in October I see things change we got the two of pentacles so this represents change this represents things changing for you especially with the will of fortune clarifying that this make this uh is you making a a different approach taking a different approach to whatever it is you're trying to do so maybe you've kind of learned from your experiences you thought that you couldn't do it and then when you started seeing that you could maybe you just changed your your um how do I say Words just be slipping my mind sometimes, y'all. But you like you, you change the focus, not just change the focus, you change the perspective. Ah, get it out. So you change your perspective. Some of you guys are actually like in the previous month just really have a lot of negative thinking. So I guess you guys kind of figured out that you could do it or figured out that maybe you were the reason why things weren't going the way they were going, so you decided to change it up. In the month of uh, September, in September, yeah. In the month of September, you decided to change it up and take on a different approach, look at things from a different angle. Um, some of you guys are wanting, like I said earlier, you're definitely wanting to change things in your life. And I think, even though it is a long process for you to do it, I kind of think you, you you are. Yeah, you are. So November, we got the chariot. This represents movement. Some of you guys may be traveling for the holidays. Um, we got the Prince of Wands too. So this represents events happening at a great pace um this could also represent you needed to carefully think things through so carefully whatever you're trying to move forward with whatever you're trying to have the strength to move forward with, carefully think it through before you do it the chariot does talk about movement as well so maybe um limit your trips don't get yourself in a bind trying to go see everybody for the holidays um this is also an important achievement and having self-discipline so maybe things you just started to carefully see what you were putting your time in in regards to your career. Because I kind of think this is more of a career read for some of you guys. I don't know why. But I kind of think this is more of a career read. For some of you guys, this is a love read. Some of you guys are definitely wanting to move forward in a relationship. And you're moving forward fast. And things are changing for you. Um, but it's speaking really strongly of career read for me. So whatever it is that you're trying to focus on in the month of November, I do see it kind of moving fast fast for you and this is you having the willpower to actually take on the responsibilities that you're supposed to instead of in previous months I do see you kind of lacking in some months when you should be kind of moving you know straight ahead this is also public recognition so for some of you guys this is definitely you being rewarded for your hard work and these these things are happening in a at a very fast pace for you now December you got the eight of Pentacles I mean the eight of cups so this represents a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. For some of you guys, I kind of think this is you kind of learning yourself, wanting to do something more within your career, wanting to push forward more within your career. And I don't see it being a bad thing. Even though the Eight of Cups does talk about walking away from something, I don't see it being a bad thing. For some of you guys, I see it being very positive, especially with the King of Pentacles, because this represents, like I said, the modest touch. This represents things going in your favor, um, confidently accepting the opportunities that you're being offered. So like for some of you guys this this year you're like you're searching for something more because you see the potential in whatever you've created and i think this is an amazing read for you guys so let's go ahead and pick these up and then we're gonna do if i seem a little off y'all i'm sorry this is like my second read <laughs> back since my son's been out of the hospital kind of you know got a little rusty but all right it's there now don't get it twisted <laughs> All right, so doo, doo, doo. I'm gonna drop all the cards. Let's pull from the Goddess Goddess Oracle card. I'm gonna pull three Oracle cards for advice. Well, one, two, three. We got blossoming. We got go outside, and we got the arts. So, underlying energy is independence. This is all about following your dreams this year, guys. 
following your dreams. All right, so your first card is blossoming. This says you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself, the process, and, does not, and do not give up. And I think that's a very positive card for you guys um, within your yearly read because I do see a lot of ups and downs for you guys in the year of 2018. But I do see you coming out on top, so just stick with it, keep pushing, do not give up, and understanding that you are transforming into a new stage in your life, and it's going to be a great one, okay? So we got go outside. Some of you guys have definitely needed to find your grounding, like I said before. Make sure that you um, get out, get into nature, experience what life has to offer you guys. Be happy on this process. It'll make it go a lot smoother for you. We also got the art, so some of you guys are needed to focus on expressing yourself. And I think I said, I did say that early on in the reading. Expressing yourself, speaking your truth. Express yourself through creative activity. So this represents writing, read, no, reading. What? Well, that's, that's a good, I don't know. But writing, drawing, painting, um, music, dance. Whatever it is that you do, if it's creating Lego blocks, whatever it is that you do to express your feelings or your emotions or just to get whatever it is you're needing to get out into the universe out. This is what you need to do. This is your guidance for this year. So understand that you're blossoming. Make sure that you go outside, see what life has to offer you. Move with a purpose this year, guys, and express yourself anytime you feel the need to. Don't hold things back, okay? So that's all I have for my Aquarius. Is like I said, if you guys would like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email address, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. All of the prices are in the description. Um, what else I got? Please follow all of my social media links. Um, my Instagram, uh, Intimate Wisdom Tarot. I think it's just Intimate Wisdom now. Yeah, my Instagram, Intimate Wisdom. Um, my Facebook, Intimate Wisdom. And my Snapchat. I don't remember. <laughs> but it's in the, it's in the uh, description. Also, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button, guys, so you guys can get all of my videos when they come out. And that's all I got. So until the monthly reads, so I will be doing your monthly reads as well. Until the monthly reads, y'all have a good day.